Hi. Hi. We're talking about date night. So our pastor um, basically encouraged us to have date nights set aside um, regularly. So we aim to have a date night once a week, and our day of the week is Fridays, usually Fridays or Saturdays. More recently, we haven't really been going. Why haven't we been going? Well, more recently, um, I don't know. <laughs> so it's it's just. Uh, yeah, with with a kid and life gets busy, that uh, I fail to plan things. Basically, I had been nagging him for months about changing up date night because we we got used to basically going out to dinner and at a nice restaurant, which is fantastic. The food is great; gives me a chance to dress up and look pretty. And we hire a babysitter to watch our daughter. Um, but I thought, you know, maybe we could do some other activities. So I did, I organized a bowling night once and that went off really well. So then the idea of paint night came around because so I showed up on my Facebook or something. I was looking for it because all of my American friends, you guys over there, were sh sharing your paint night pictures. And I thought, oh, it'd be so nice to have one of those here. And I finally found one on Facebook that was nearby. However, you contacted her and I'm sorry I'm checked out she had a baby and mm. she wasn't ready yet um, to be back on her feet uh, doing paint night so it wasn't until last Friday that we got a chance to actually go and have a paint night the date night with painting was uh, a culmination of a difficult moment in which I just didn't plan a date night probably I think it was like a month or a month and a half and, and then he didn't plan the babysitter until like three days before the actual paint night and we couldn't get a babysitter so we ended up bringing our daughter to paint night which worked out perfectly fine um, and she really enjoyed herself and made a new friend and but anyway I just want to talk through paint night because for you guys watching in the UK you may not be familiar with it and it's it's something that's really, really fun and economical if you want to hang out with your friends and go home with something that you've worked on and you can look at it and reflect on it or maybe you can decorate your home with it. It was 20 pounds mm -hmm. per person for all the materials, so paint, canvas, and etc. and the instruction. And the place was called the Uncorked Canvas in yes. Eastleigh. And we'll pop her link uh, down below so you can find her if you're in the area and you're interested in. Shout out classes. to Jordan. <laughs> what you do is there's a painting that you're modeling the night after. So then she brings all the paints and all the colors and tells you step by step how to paint it. You judge which one is best. Clearly, I paint much more than you do. Yeah. Right. Your um, face. <laughs> what? Paint. Yeah, I paint my face every day. Exactly. What about you? No. Exactly. So, this is the end of, a, of our part one series of date night. Oh. Yeah. Part two is going to be about why we think date night is so important and some tips on having a good marriage via date night. See you later. Bye. Bye.